Greetings, my friends, and welcome to Trizity Traveling. I am your host, John, and today is my inaugural flight with JetBlue. JetBlue has an extensive network on the East Coast. Um, they fly to select cities out here in the West, but they do not fly to Boise, my home airport. So I've never really had a chance to fly on them, and I've never really made it a priority until now. Today's inaugural flight is from Fort Lauderdale in the East to Phoenix in the West. I believe every JetBlue aircraft has a slightly different paint job and they all have a different name. In addition to the unique names and unique paint schemes of each of their aircraft, all with kind of a blue theme, of course, they do have some other special liveried aircraft. I saw this one in Fort Lauderdale a few years back. And today I get to fly on the New York Jets uh, JetBlue aircraft. Now, thankfully, this aircraft is in lovely shape, much better shape than the actual New York Jets are in the 2020 NFL football season. Sorry, Jets fans. You may take some consolation in the fact that they have a lovely, lovely livery on this aircraft. Maybe. I don't know. As I get ready to get on the New York Jets JetBlue aircraft, please take a second to click the subscribe button. I hope you'll hit the reminder bell and you'll be notified of future content when it gets uploaded. If you like today's video, I hope, I really hope you'll give it a thumbs up at the end as well. The thumbs up really helped my channel quite a bit. My inaugural flight with JetBlue is not in the mint product. Given the current environment with COVID and service levels not being what they would be under normal circumstances, I'm hoping that uh, if I save my first mint experience to later next year, it'll have more of a normal feel. It may be normal right now, but based on my experiences on United and Delta Airlines in their business class that had a lower level of service, I think I want to wait and see how things pan out throughout next year. I did give myself a slight upgrade today. I'm in the even more space part of the cabin. Turns out the even more space has massive amounts of legroom. Pretty impressive, frankly. I think that covers the basics. Let's get to the details of the trip report. It looks like a beautiful day to fly. I'm getting dropped off at Terminal 3 in Fort Lauderdale this morning. I checked in last night using the mobile app, but I need to drop my luggage this morning. Very straightforward instructions and an easy method on the JetBlue kiosk. I took advantage of the opportunity to grab a paper boarding pass. That way I can use my phone for filming. I'd call this an open concept bag drop area. I'm quickly through the TSA checkpoint and looking for some breakfast. The restaurant at the hotel was closed due to COVID. Unfortunately for me, not much open here at Terminal 3 either, as remodeling seems to be in full swing. And nothing looked good at Jack's place. If you've been to Seattle, they put fish in their floor. Starfish in Fort Lauderdale seems very appropriate. We are on time for a 4 hour 30 minute flight to Phoenix this morning. I already mentioned I'm on the New York Jets airplane today. Unfortunately, I couldn't get a good look at it on the ramp. Here's the first time I saw it on a trip to Atlanta. ETS, Jets, Jets, Jets. There is one problem with my personal need to be early to the airport. Sometimes there's really nothing to do. You can look at chairs. You can watch people. And eventually, I watch people get on the plane. JetBlue is boarding back to front during COVID. Thank you. And I'm way up front in row five. I did have a quick chat with another passenger about their dogs. Sorry to say I don't remember what kind of dogs they were. 
think they were long-haired dachshunds, maybe? We're just the couriers. We transport them. Oh, okay. And then we, uh, friend of ours had, had uh, a litter. Um, she adopted the dog, female. She uh-huh. thought she had already had a litter. And she ended up popping out like a week later. How old are, how old are they? Uh, they're just seven weeks. We're actually taking them a little early, but we're not coming back until way after Thanksgiving. And she's like, I'm not eating them anymore. <laughs> I so, think they'll, they'll be fine. So she called the vet and they got their, their six week shots. We're supposed to be scared. Uh, our kids wanted one. We're like, we're on our last tour of duty. You guys are getting close to getting, getting out of the door. We're yeah. We're trying to feed the dog. We all leave. We're going to call Hopefully, I have a good play. Yeah. Thank you. I've arrived at my even more space row, and man, it is huge. Here's the seatback screen. Not huge. TV and radio controls are in the armrest. I actually found them to be very awkwardly placed in the seating area. Thankfully, I have no single serving friend on this flight, so my contortions to see the controls didn't have me leaning into my neighbor. There were two snack services on today's flight. First time through, they provided gluten-free popcorn chips. Big fan of the popcorn chips, and I settled for a juice today. The seatback screen looks to provide about 42 channels. Three of the channels were JetBlue channels where they offered what I will call newer movies. With COVID, there's not a lot of brand new movies these days, but some newer movies. JetBlue provides what they claim to be high-speed Wi-Fi on each flight. With that and Flight Radar 24, I was able to see lots of landmarks, and I even caught a couple of passing aircraft. Unfortunately, no good aircraft captures. Let's check out the high-speed Wi-Fi. Unfortunately, the Wi-Fi wasn't very good at this point of the flight. Could have been a coverage issue, and I kind of got distracted, so I didn't check it later in the flight. Sorry about that. It was good enough for me to use flight radar, as I mentioned earlier, but didn't really try a whole lot else. J-E-T-S, jets, jets, jets. At least I've seen that on TV. Here's the second round of snack service. No gluten-free popcorn chips, only cookies and crackers. So I settled for an ice water. Important to stay hydrated as always. Time for my thumbs up for today's flight. First, the Even More Space is amazing. I highly recommend it. I would gladly spend more time here. Second thumbs up goes to the crew for two snack services. Right now, service is diminished on many airlines due to COVID. 
So two services on this flight was a very welcome surprise. And my thumbs down. I'm probably gonna get ripped for this because I've complained about it in the past, but this seatback screen sucks and needs a serious upgrade. I will say it is still better than no screen, however. Double welcome to Phoenix, Arizona, where the local time is 11.52 a.m. Thanks for watching today. I hope you'll like the video and share it with your friends. If you have any JetBlue or travel questions, please post them below. Thanks again for watching today and happy travels.